Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna do a little get ready with me, testing out some new products from Tarte. I got this box in the mail full of some new goodies from them. They actually have a lot of new launches for 2020, and I feel like not many people have been talking about them, so I wanted to go ahead, dig in here with these products, test them out, and see how they perform. I am, I would say, a pretty big fan of Tarte's makeup. A lot of their complexion products are amazing. I also love a couple of their eyeshadow palettes that are like holy grails in my collection. So I'm really excited to kind of play and see all this new stuff and see how it performs on the face. I did already put foundation on and my brows. Everything I'm using will be linked down below. I have the Tarte um, face tape foundation on and also the Tarte busy gal brow on so i was so excited i was going to use this palette today the bu but i looked it up and it's literally nowhere to be found on the tart website or on ulta so i don't know if it's sold out or what's going on but i was so excited to use this beautiful neutral palette but that's okay i have another one and i actually have the spicy betch palette to try out today which will be very out of my comfort zone <laughs> with these shades very colorful fiery red tones so it's kind of like a sister to the icy betch palette it's super fun it says you're like really hot on the back <laughs> and it has these like peppers all over it so i guess we will use this for today this is what the palette looks like it says it's a pressed pigment palette so i'm sure these are going to be like insanely pigmented all right, I'm a little bit nervous, but let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so the first shade I wanna take is the shade Intense, this one on the very end. And we're gonna put that in the crease. It's kind of a peachy tone. With that same brush, I'm gonna go into burning up this like bright melon pink and just put that also in the crease. And that will really intensify this kind of orange look we have going on. Next, I'm going to take the shade Caliente here, this like red shade, and we're going to use this. I'm going to use this on a smaller brush and focus this in the outer corner of the eye. I feel like I kind of want to brighten up that crease, so I'm going to take this yellow and also work that up there. Next, I'm going to take Sizzling and try to use this on the lid. I don't know how this is going to look, but it has some shimmer to it. It's a very interesting kind of gold. It's very bright, um, a lot brighter than it looked in the pan. I'm going to use just a white eyeliner. This one's from NYX and line my lower lash line with it. I usually like to use a white liner when I'm working with um, more like neon shades like this because it really makes the colors pop. And adding a little bit of that coral and burning up to that as well. Alright, so let's clean stuff up a little bit and fix up the under eyes here with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So, this is going to be the first step. We're also going to be using a new product with this, but I'm just going to kind of conceal and then this will help clean up any rough edges. Because the shadow was pretty intense. So, I'm just going to blend that out here. Alright, that is much, much better. The next product we're going to be using is called the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. This is a new product from Tarte. I'm using the shade Sunbeam. Basically, what this is supposed to do, it says that you can pair it with the Shape Tape Concealer for a lifted, illuminated look. So I'm just going to put this a little bit over top and maybe do the highlight areas of my face. Um, you can use this by itself too, but it's not going to have a ton of coverage. You can also mix this with moisturizer or primer for an all-over radiance. And let's see, this is retailing for $25. Alright, let's see here. It does have this little sponge on the end too, I guess, if you want to use that to blend it out. I'll probably just use a brush, I think. So it has a normal kind of concealer wand. We're just going to focus this, oh gosh, in the middle. 
think I got a little too much, that's fine. And we'll do the high points of the face. And I'll start blending here. I can definitely sense the glow. It does give a nice kind of radiance. I think I did get too much on my eyes though. So I'm going to try and spread the product out a little bit. It's like super glowy though. But I definitely do want to set that with a powder. Okay, that's how, how we're looking. It looks nice, I think. Just like super, super glowy. So I felt like I really needed to intensify my brows for this colorful look. So I went ahead and used the cover out by Benefit. Um, just because I feel like if I have super just light natural brows, it kind of looks off with like a bam eyeshadow look. So I decided to add a little bit of that and I feel like it fits a lot better. And then like even with these kind of looks, I usually will wear false lashes because I feel like it really ties everything in. But I do have a new mascara I did want to try instead from Tarte. It's called the Surfer Curl Mascara from the Tarte C line. This is the wand on that. It has a really nice small thin wand, which is usually my favorite because it's not like super messy and you can really get your lashes coated well. And this one retails for $23. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out for you. Oh wow, I can already tell I'm going to like this a lot. It gives a lot of length right away. Wow, you guys, that looks insane. Tarte mascaras are always so good. But yeah, this really lengthens the lashes. I did put a few coats on, so it might look, I don't know, some people are into that look. Some people are like, oh, it looks too spidery, but I really like how that looks, actually. All right, let's do some bronzer. I'm going to use the Tarte Park F Princess Bronzer. This is actually one of my favorite go-to bronzers I've had for a long time. As you can see, I have a pretty good dent in there. It's such a beautiful natural shade. Definitely a favorite. I highly, highly recommend. All right, then I'm going to dip into this little set here. So I know we didn't use this eyeshadow today or the mascara, but there's a really cute blush in this set. This is the Q of the Confetti set. Uh, I believe I've seen this on Sephora. So yeah, this all comes together. I'll show you what it looks like, but this is the Q of the Confetti palette, which be, would be really good for all you guys that love your like neutral basics, because it has pretty much everything you need. And then the mascara has a limited edition packaging, which is so pretty. And this is the blush we're going to be using, which kind of reminds me of the fairy collection that Tarte did because it has like this glitter uh, packaging. It's so gorgeous. It's called B-Day Bay. Looks like a really nice neutral shade. So we're going to use this for our blush. It's kind of nice that you get all of those essentials in one set. I'll link that set down below if you're interested. And then for my brush, I'm going to be using these. I totally forgot about these. Um, but they, this is a little brush set from the Sugar Rush line from Tarte. It's the Fly Squad brush set. And they look like little bees. It's so cute. But so you get an all-over shadow brush, which I should have used. Totally forgot. The angled fan brush and also the angled cheek brush. So I'm going to try this cheek brush today to use on the face with the new blush, but this is a very dense brush. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it. It applies it, but I don't I don't think it's like my favorite brush for blush. It's like a tongue twister. I do like this blush shade though. I think it's really pretty, but yeah, this brush is just too dense for blush. I don't think I would like it for contour either, to be honest. For highlight, I'll go ahead and use the Tarte Exposed Highlight. This one is absolutely beautiful as well, another favorite. And I'm going to try it with this brush. It seems kind of big, but that's what we are going to work with today. <laughs> I think I just got way too much. Okay, not bad, but not my favorite. The brushes feel nice, but I just don't like the shape and the function of them, so I would probably skip those. All right, so the last thing we're gonna be using from Tarte is their new Sugar Rush Lip Sip Vegan Lip Oil. I have no idea if this is gonna look good with this eye look, but we're gonna try it out today. It has really, really cute packaging. All right, let's, let's try this out. It looks pretty clear right now. I'm going to wait a couple minutes and see if it gets any darker. 
because I would like the shade to be just a bit darker, I think. All right, I think that's about as dark as it's going to get. So this will be the finished look using the new Tarte items. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me do a quick little overview of the products. So first up we have the Spicy Betch palette. I do feel like this is a really fun palette. It's very colorful, very pigmented. So I would definitely only get this if you're really into like bright colors and would like to do colorful looks because there's not like a ton of like neutral shades to me in here. But it was still easy to work with. I was a little bit worried at first like how the look was going to go because I feel like sometimes with color it just looks like a mess. But then once you kind of have the whole look together it ends up looking really nice. And I do prefer lashes with my colored looks but I do think it looks nice with the mascara. But I did feel like this performed really well and it's something unique in my collection that I don't really have. Um, as far as the glow wand goes I thought that was kind of a fun unique product. Of course it does recommend using with shape tape but you can probably use it with any of your other concealers just for an extra glow and I'm excited to try it out a few different ways as well but if you guys have a concealer that maybe is a little bit drying kind of like shape tape is I think that could be a good way to boost it up I really like that blush in the cute the confetti set I could see myself using that a lot I kind of wish it was like a permanent shade but um, that set it just is really adorable so, so I think that would be a good one to try if you guys want a few like neutral tart items and want to try more from the line and then the brushes I'm not a big fan of as you guys saw I just don't think they're very good shapes for what I like in my collection um, so I would probably skip the brushes and then as far as the lip oil goes I'm just like not obsessed with it it feels nice on the lips it is a nice kind of thicker lip oil but I prefer to have just a little bit more color I have so many clear glasses and other lip oils I just got the covergirl ones which I feel like do essentially the same thing this one's just a little bit more thicker and a little bit more moisturizing too and it has cuter packaging but I just prefer a little bit more color with these kind of things because I could just get like a clear gloss otherwise so anyways that's pretty much my thoughts on the new Tarte stuff and trying everything out for you I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later bye guys